Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about Glorilla's latest album, Glorious. I'm going to be doing a kind of review, just talking about a couple of songs, the songs I like, the songs I didn't like, and overall feel for the project. So if you're interested in that, see my rap, pop, conspiracy theory, sharing topics, my unpopular opinions, whatever. I feel like getting into real go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video okay you guys so glorilla has finally dropped her debut album um as some of you guys may or may not know i did a review to her mixtape which i loved so much which felt more like an album to me than a mixtape it was incredible in my opinion <clears throat> now if you're listening to glow's album and you like it i would really highly recommend going back and listening to her mixtape because it was really good also if I sound crazy, I just woke up upon me recording this video. <laughs> and when I just wake up, like, my freaking voice is deeper than normal. It's like a couple of octaves lower. So in case you're like, mm, why do you sound like that? I'd be waking up and recording sometimes. Okay, guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the album and how I feel about each track. And then we'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. The first track that I'd like to emphasize is Hold On. <laughs> the song is like, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Um, I gotta be honest, because this song came out before the album was even out. And I didn't really necessarily like it when I listened to it the first time. But after, like, a couple of listens, and this happens to me with a lot of Glorilla songs. Like, this is a common theme of her music, of which I might not like it upon first listen. But then if I listen to it a couple of more times, it starts to grow on me. And that has kind of been what's happened with Hold On. I really don't care for it as much because it feels like it's trying to be like a kind of a version of tgif and tgif is just really good and it's nothing is really going to be topping that as a single and to me this song kind of felt like it was trying to be that but like the less hype version of it but now it's grown on me now it's grown on me so if it comes on if, it, if it's in on somewhere at a function or something like that i'm gonna be up i'm gonna be up to it because it's grown on me now and at first i was just like oh this song is boring it's kind of like trying to be tgif but didn't work but now it's growing on me so i can't be talking as much shit you know so let me know what y'all think i saw the video to it the video mm, didn't really care for the video not like in comparison to tgif didn't really care for the video but the song has grown on me okay moving on the next song was procedure okay procedure this song is fucking late i love this one um this is featuring lotto which I like Lotto's contribution to like the chorus or the hook of it. <clears throat> she did really good. She said, tell that nigga I need the world, the sun, and the moon. <laughs> like, period. I love that part of the, I love that part of the chorus. And then Glo was like, what's the procedure when a bad bitch walk in the room? Like, yeah, what? Exactly that energy. Exactly that energy. Like, period yes love glow for that lotto did her thing on this this is probably one of my favorite tracks on the album i really like hold on like i said now procedure really did it for me i like her flow her confidence um on this whole track so moving on is what you know about me she ate again this is one of my favorite tracks too i don't really know what to put first i guess it depends on my mood honestly between like procedure and what you know about me um it depends on the mood for the day i guess you would say but she ate all the way with this one i wanted to twerk from the moment that the track turned on but i was in bed when i was listening to try to take notes so i didn't do that but i wanted to and the fact that she sampled boosie almost got me out of my bed it almost got me out of my bed when i was recording um also red actually did really cute too she didn't do anything crazy with her first but it was really cute it was like a simple cute you know red didn't do too much when she was recording or anything she just added like her simple little shake that ass for drake and i was like that ass for me but like like low version um so i thought that was really cute um i love for us giving her face ass titties her fake girl Ugh. this is just a turn up you already in the function you lit already off a couple like this is perfect this is 
perfect. And when I'm turned up, I really tap into my inner glow because I'm from the South. Glows from the South. I'm not from Memphis, but I'm from the South in general. You know, so with Glow, with Meg, with certain people, I just have a natural connection, I feel like, to their music in general because of that similarity. So, yes, Glow is like, she's one of my top three girls I listen to in general. Um, and I didn't used to like Glow. Like, when she first, first, first came out, she wasn't giving for me. The the twerking on them headlights, shaking at them red lights and all that, no. Nah. I wasn't, I was like, "Mm -mm, sorry, not for me. Um, (laughs) But her music grew and developed um, as she continued to work. And I started effing with it. I started really effing with it. But anyway, so that song is good. What you know about me is really good. I haven't seen the music video for it yet. I'll probably watch uh, the video after I'm done recording. But yeah. Uh, Then she has that song. uh, The next song, Stop Playing With That Girl. (laughs) Better stop playing with that girl. Yes, I love the energy of that too. I really like this one. It's really a uh, confident, motivational, um, a confidence booster. Like if you can do it, I can do it. Or if I can do it, you can do it too type of record. Um, you know, keep your head up, you know, aspirational. You know, I made it out the hood. I'm doing my thing. Stop playing. Stop playing on your on your own self. Make sure you're confident in yourself. Get to where you need to go. You're going to end up there, you know, with hard work, dedication, X, Y, Z, right? so yeah that was one of those types of songs i like the way she delivered the chorus because it's like kind of like a wake-up call almost like a stop playing with that girl like you know so yeah um moving on to the next song don't deserve i really really like this one i really really like this one because of the message and i like it because of the way that she's delivering it so she's talking about this dude who's doing you wrong cheating beating having a baby on you. I think this is featuring Mooney Long as well. Yeah, this is like the R&B flavored track or whatever. And it seems like in the song, it's taken from the perspective of her talking to a friend or talking to someone. So I don't think in this record, she's talking about herself. It's more of like a conversational thing where she's trying to tell her friend that she can do better, that she shouldn't be with this guy, trying to give her advice, trying to be like, you know, you shouldn't be with no guy who's treating you this way, who's hitting you, who's having babies on you, who's, you know, not taking care of you, X, Y, Z. And she's trying to get her to see her worth. And Mooney Long is also conveying that, you know, through the chorus. So ooh, I'm sorry if y'all hear buzzing for my phone but yeah so I really like this because this is really needed um and she has multiple songs within this album that she is um doing that where she's giving advice or she's being motivational or she's telling girls to get out of situations or she's telling her herself to get out of a certain situation so I do appreciate that there's a lot of you know turn up but there's also a lot of advice in this album and there's a lot of things where you can listen to and be like oh okay glow i heard i heard you sis you know i'm gonna do what you said in a positive way you know so i appreciated that um then we have rain down on me this is like a gospel song pretty much which i wasn't expecting i was like oh wow she incorporated gospel in the album that's that's clutch that's really cool um and it's featuring kirk franklin i think there's some other people i didn't get to see honestly i forget i didn't write it down here on my notes but um i really love the chorus i really love the choir um beautiful anytime you hear religious choirs it's always gorgeous always gorgeously done so i really appreciated that and i also appreciate the versatility about it in terms of okay i'm gonna have xyz songs but i'm also gonna have songs about god in here because that's what she values and that's what she wanted to put on her album so i could respect that a lot um so yes rain down on me is also great and then moving on to the next song which is glow's prayer which also has a very similar energy um it's not a gospel song but it seems to be like a personal prayer that she's having with god about her life and she seems to be talking to him about a situation she's gotten herself into with a man that she was trying to get out of. And she was saying, you know, if you get me out of the situation, God, you know, I promise I'll do better. I don't want to be with somebody who's going to be like this. Help me basically to find the strength to do better and to be with a better person and to get me out of maybe a potentially even dangerous situation. Um, and 
yeah, I thought that was pretty solemn. I thought that was pretty cool of her to incorporate that as well, a personal prayer like song. So yeah. Um, so next song is How I Look. I really like this one. I really like the beat. Um, and I believe this is featured Megan Thee Stallion, right? Or am I tripping? Yeah, no, this is featured Megan Thee Stallion. The beat is really, really hard. One of the hardest beats on the entire album. Also, speaking of beats. If you want to listen to a project that has really good beats, go listen to Megan, or not Megan, go listen to Glorilla's mixtape. Really amazing beats. Really amazing delivery from her. Um, what I will say, though, about how I look featuring Megan the Stallion is I like the beat and I really love Glow's parts. Um, but there was something that felt off about Megan's part. I mean, she didn't rap bad or anything. It's not about it being bad. It just feels like how the track was composed or something. She seemed louder than the rest of the track for some reason. She seemed louder than the music or louder than Glow's parts um, when she was giving her verse. Um, her energy and delivery seemed slightly harsher than Glow's. I don't know if that was done on purpose. She could have done that purposely. But it kind of feels a little off balance. Like it's like low, the beat, everything's doing good when she's doing her parts. And then Megan's part comes in and she seems louder and harsher than the song itself. So it kind of throws it off for me when I was listening. So it's not that her parts were bad. It just something's like with the maybe the production of it just wasn't right. I don't know. I don't know. So that kind of threw off the song for me. But other than that, it's a good one nobody did bad but anyway moving on um so the next song is called i ain't going and she's talking about this dude who she was who was basically saying that he was gonna beat her up and he was gonna um do this and do that to her and she was like no i'm not letting no nigga put their hands on me period like you know she said i'm i'm not gonna put up with that i don't put up with dudes feeling like they could just throw me around or say they finna do this to me or that to me that that's not the type of timing that she's on so she said at the end that she's gonna basically take the dude out if he tries to like feel like he's gonna come around beating on her putting his hands on her xyz and he's like no i'm gonna smoke you if you think that you (laughs) get my people or whoever to make sure you're taken care of because you're not gonna be sitting up here threatening me or putting your hands on me so that's basically what she said which i was like oh okay that energy is very bold (laughs) very brave okay (laughs) period (laughs) um so she was basically saying i ain't going you know whatever so i thought that was cool i like that message of you know being strong in terms of like how men be acting and stuff and i haven't been in that situation i have not been in no situation where men have put their hands on me but i've seen it happen a lot of my close friends family members things like that and they always go back to the person they always end up staying with the person they always end up dealing with it so i appreciate glow you know emphasizing that she's not she's not the person who's going to be doing that because that's always been me that's always been me that's always been my mother that's always been like certain people and like certain sides of the family like we're not going for that we're just not doing it y'all be blessed and good luck though but we're not putting up with that um so i appreciate that energy because i embody that spirit like (laughs) i am a very i am crazy don't ever think that you could catch yourself putting your hands on me ever in life i don't care how strong you are how big you think you are i will find a way to f you up but anyway um so the next song (laughs) the next song is step okay and i didn't really put much notes for this one because i don't really like it um i don't really have much to say about it it just was a little bit slow for me a little bit boring um there wasn't anything about this one that was interesting enough for me to talk about honestly okay and then the next track we have here is let her cook again i didn't really care for this one either so i didn't really put any notes for it didn't really like this one you guys let me know how y'all felt about those two step in let her cook eh pass for me um next we have here is i love her featuring t-pain oh my gosh i was so happy when i saw this track because t-pain's voice soothes uh soothes me so nostalgic just hearing him on a track uh like a newer track nowadays also glow slid she slid she slid she slid she did so good on this like i feel like t-pain and glowilla's voices um mesh very well together they sound great on a track together and i wasn't expecting them to sound so good together but they really work um so it's talking about her basically being a lover girl or whatever with this dude that she's with um 
<laughs> the beat and the flow were really good from both T Pain and her. Um, <laughs> the part that made me laugh was she was like, uh, put the D in my mouth, make me shut up or something when she was talking about like us having an attitude. It was so funny. I was like, dang, Glow always say something crazy like that or moose knuckles and, and shit. And I'm just like, Glow, really off the chain. But anyway, yeah, I want her and T-Pain to do more music together because they sound good. And then last but not least is Queen of Memphis, okay? And she was, you know, kind of another song where she's talking about her come up, how she's proud of it, how she's making it out of the hood, her situation, shit like that. So yeah, overall, like, I really like this album, okay? I really like this album. And when it comes to this album and Glow's mixtape, I wouldn't even say that one is better than the other. I like them both in different ways. Like, I like them equally in different ways. Both quality projects, in my opinion. I really like this album. I hope it goes good for her. I hope it goes up for her. I mean, she's still a smaller artist in comparison to other female rappers that we know. So maybe it won't sell as high. But either way it goes, it's a good project. So honestly, I feel like there's something on this album for everybody. There's a turn up, there's the motivational, there's the religious, you know, inspirational advice. There's kind of everything. It's kind of wrapped up into one, which I really appreciate. It's not like a, um, you know, one dimensional project where you're getting one type of song, one type of energy, one type of thing, you know, the entire time. So I think that's really cool. I really, really, really like it. And there's definitely some club bangers on here i'm sure i'm sure she's gonna get some entries in the hot 100 from a few of these songs so y'all let me know how y'all feel about Glow's album what is your favorite tracks i think my favorite tracks are procedure which you know about me hold on uh uh uh, uh, uh the song with t-pain i forget what it's called right now um don't deserve there's a lot there's a lot. It's kind of hard to pick like a top favorite because there's so many that are good. So that's it for this one, y'all. I love you and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.